Utilitarianism is an ethical theory first devised by Jeremy Bentham in the 18th century. Bentham argues that the only thing that is intrinsically good is pleasure, and anything that is intrinsically bad is pain. As a result, when it comes to our moral actions, the morally right action is the one that maximises pleasure while minimising pain. And that's the pleasure, that's the overall pleasure, the pleasure for everyone. So it, it, it uh, adheres to the principle of utility that says that we want to do the greatest good for the greatest number. And to help us figure out which action is the one that maximises pleasure in each instance, we ought to use the hedonic or the philosophic calculus. And this has seven components, so we have to measure the intensity of the pleasure, its duration, its certainty, so the likelihood of the pleasure arising as a result of our action, the propinquity, which is how immediate the pleasure is going to be felt as a result of the action, fecundity, which is how fruitful the action is in producing more pleasure, uh, its purity, so, so a pure pleasure is one which doesn't come with associated pains, and then the extent, how far the pleasure will extend to other people when we perform the action. Whatever scores the highest on the hedonic calculus, that is the action that we want to do in that situation. Now, there were lots of problems with Bentham's utilitarianism, and John Stuart Mill tried to solve those problems by modifying the theory. So one thing that he thought was important was that it's not just the quantity of pleasure being produced that is important, but also the quality of pleasure. So Bentham was famous for arguing that, uh, for saying that pushpin, a mundane 18th century child's game, if that gave you more pleasure than reading poetry or any other intellectual pleasure, then you ought to do pushpin. Mill thought that was stupid. Mill thought there are some pleasures that are more worthwhile than others, even if they produce less quantity. So he thought that we ought to prefer higher quality pleasures. Higher pleasures involve our uniquely human higher faculties. We ought to prefer those to lower pleasures, which are more like bodily sensations, pleasures that we share with animals. And for this reason, Mill is often described as a qualitative utilitarian, and Bentham is a quantitative utilitarian. Mill was often also called a rule utilitarian, whereas Bentham is an act utilitarian. So whereas Bentham thought we ought to measure every individual action uh, in deciding what to do, that came with problems, because it meant that if in one situation a lie would produce a tiny bit more pleasure than telling the truth, we ought to lie in that situation. And Mill thought, hang on, because societies that are honest and trustworthy, they'll be more conducive to producing pleasure uh, than ones that are happy to tell lies now and again uh, in individual circumstances. So he thought that we ought to follow rules, general rules, that when followed would maximise pleasure. And so that's why he's a rule utilitarian, and Bentham is an act utilitarian. Uh, despite this, uh, there are still more criticisms of utilitarianism. A famous one comes from Robert Nozick, and it's the experience machine objection. And he is attacking this hedonistic foundation of utilitarianism, this idea that the only thing of intrinsic value is pleasure, which utilitarianism is obviously based on. And so he argued, if you have the opportunity to go into an experience machine where you can live any life that you like and you think that it's real, and so you can have the most pleasurable existence, far more pleasurable than real life, and do fulfil all of your desires, he says, you still would not go into the machine because Pleasure is not the only thing that is important to us. It would still be important, for instance, that our experiences are in contact with reality. And he thought this, this showed uh, that, uh, or this argument is often used to, to, to show that utilitarianism is false, because hedonism is false. But there are more recent forms of utilitarianism, and they are non-hedonistic. Uh, so preference utilitarianism is one of those. And preference utilitarianism argues that we shouldn't maximise pleasure, but we ought to maximise the satisfaction of preferences. And this involves giving equal weight to everyone's interests. So as a result, they'll just say to Nozick, yeah, you're right, you wouldn't go into the machine. And this is because the machine wouldn't satisfy your desires. It wouldn't satisfy your desire because it only gives you the experience of, say, climbing Mount Everest. You wouldn't actually be climbing Mount Everest. You need to actually be doing something to satisfy the preference. I think we've got time for one more criticism of utilitarianism. Utilitarianism. So we're going to do John Rawls' separateness of persons objection. What he argues is that utilitarianism is a poor conception of justice when applied to society. And this is because it is happy to sacrifice the happiness of happy to sacrifice the happiness of some people in order to maximize the happiness of someone else. And if a certain action uh, leads to this unequal distribution of happiness, if that is the cost 
in maximizing happiness, it is happy to, to do it. That just isn't just, isn't just to sacrifice some people to make other people happy. So he thought it's a poor conception of justice. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, if you want to know anything more about any of these topics that I've covered, then I have a whole series on utilitarianism which goes into more detail on all of these subjects. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.